Okay, it is Monday, 16th January. We have just finished, as of yesterday, in fact I'm still dealing with the, the aftermath right now. We have just finished the most insanely monstrous MAG recording session of all time. It lasted three days for the total of 44 episodes and over 270 gigabytes of total recorded footage and audio. That is that bullshit out of the way for the next month and a half. So I can focus on the fun things in life like this. <laughs> so the reason why I am dressed like this and I look like hell is because of two reasons. <laughs> number one, <laughs> number one, I ate nothing but complete shit and takeout food and sugar and sugar and sugar the entire weekend. <sighs> MAG even fucks up my diet. <laughs> as well as the living room and the rest of the house. And the other reason is, I am out for a run today. Start off the day, so it's been a really busy day, there's a lot of stuff going on. I don't wanna start the day off with a run, but I'm still training for the marathon. So let's get running. I'm running to Hollywood today, by the way. Hollywood and back. I seem to have found myself on the motorway. Uh-oh. I've made it to Virgin Active Health Club. A fantastic gym, but disgustingly overpriced. Ugh. Okay, good time left. <laughs> Five minute break over. Continue. So I'm here in Hollywood, I've made it. It was five kilometer run just as I got through the gates for this for the cemetery. This cemetery is super old, and I think like the newest, the newest gravestone here is like 1890 or something. Like these gravestones go back as far as like 1860. Yeah, look at the, these ones over here. There's 1817 over there. And I go, they go back as far as like 1600. So a bit of a late start today, because I had loads of editing to do. Well, not editing, but I had to like export and bounce all of that crap that we recorded over the weekend. Time to run back and then go to the skate park, because I haven't been skating in a while, but it's kind of raining, but the skate park is under a bridge. We'll see how it goes. Also, I need to go shopping because I ripped my pants. So this just came in the mail. For those of you who have a GoPro, like a Hero 4 or whatever, and you're like, man, I wish I had some more uh, accessories for this thing, in this bag is a huge pile of awesome gadgets and stuff for your GoPro for under 20 pounds. And I will link in the description how you can get this. So let's have a look in this bag and let's see exactly what we got for 20 quid. Okay, so first of all, the first thing we see is a selfie stick. And it's a really long selfie stick. Also, you can use this selfie stick thing for the G7X, which I'm using to record. We also have uh, this thing right here. Uh, not entirely sure what this is used for, but it is it is cool. Uh, also comes with its own thumb screw and uh, clips and everything, which is great. So you don't need to borrow it from anything else that's in here. Right, next up we have this thing. So this is a head strap. So this thing fits on your head, see? So this, this, that goes on the top of your head right here. And then right here we have the clip for the GoPro. So you can stick that on and I'm gonna be using this while running. So you guys are gonna get a much better perspective of my, of my daily runs uh, with this little strap right here, which is, which is awesome. Next is this much larger strappy business. Now this is m much more heavy duty as you can see and this is because it is a chest harness. 
Next up, we have actually one of my personal favorite things that's that's in this thing. Look how cute this is. This thing is adorable. It's like a little uh, gorilla bendy tripod thing. And if for those of you who don't know, I use one of these uh, on the G7X, just a much bigger version. Next up, we have this yellow fun toy looking thing, which is not a sex toy, although you probably you probably could use it as a sex toy. Uh, this is um, a, a float. So you attach the GoPro to here, throw it in the water, and it'll like float this way with the, with the water here. And the GoPro will look down or in any other direction that you like. Um, plus it's yellow, so you can always find it, which is great. So if you want to go swimming in a swimming pool or go in the sea and you just want to throw the GoPro in the water and just look down or look left or whatever, then you can use one of these things. Fantastic fucking addition. I love it. That's also what this is. Now, this has a sticky little back bit. You take that off, you stick it to the back of the GoPro case, so it's in the back, uh, and then that floats down. So that floats like that, and then the GoPro sort of looks this way, looks down. Um, plus it's red, so you can find it. So the next cool little thing that we have is in this bag, and it's another strappy looking thing. And this is actually, as you can see by the shape of it, a wrist strap for your GoPro. So obviously your GoPro gets stuck on here. It uh, looks like it can spin around. Yes, it can, it can, it can spin around. We also have this thing here as well. So this is just basic clips. Uh, comes with the GoPro thing. Pretty much everyone has one of these. This is, uh, appears to be some bag of generic clips. Actually, do you know what this is? Let me show you. So this right here, this attaches to your bike. So this goes on the, uh, the little bar that goes in between the handlebars. And you can attach a GoPro to it. Um, I don't have a bike, so... But Kai does, and she will be using this. Now this one's really interesting. I can't believe this one was included for the price. This one uh, is it, it mounts onto glass. Do you see? Do you see the suction? So you, what you do is you, you put that onto glass like that, and then you pull that down to create the suction. Put your GoPro on here, so you can put that on a windshield or any various glass services like a window or something, which is which is always cool. Now this one is going to be very interesting because it's just a generic clip. It's a very strong clip. Oh, it's got some pressure on it. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, no, that hits. Um, so GoPro clip, crocodile looking face thing right here. Very, very useful. You can use this for a variety of different mounts, d different ways. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it looks like we have uh, some other... In fact, what is this? We have some more generic clips, just in case you lost yours, which is always handy to have these. These red things are sticky pads for the GoPro and also the clips. So if you want to stick this to a dashboard or a table or a skateboard or, pretty, or a surfboard, pretty much anything, these things will stick to it. And then you put the clip onto it and then that's you ready to go. You just put the clip the GoPro into that and you're ready to go with this. How amazing is that? Not entirely sure what this is for, but that is a sticky surface if you peel it. I don't know what this is either. Uh, and also a fun little uh, nylon handle for your GoPro. Also cool. And to house all of this stuff, it came with this case. It comes with this case, which alone is probably worth about 20 pounds. 20 quid, 30 dollars, whatever. This is really going to change my vlogging game, and I can't wait to use it all. Hit the city. So we're here to meet Box now. I'm meeting her at Nero's next to Victoria Square to drop off the hard drives with all of the hard drive, uh, all of the episodes and uh, footage and audio and stuff. And then I'm going shopping because I destroyed my pants and I need a new pair. <laughs> what the hell? This place is new. What is this place? We are definitely going here at some point. That was amazing in there. So, so this is what vloggers have when they go to a coffee shop. They they eat falafel and they drink green tea. I want to buy your falafel. This is what beauty beauty channels it have. What's that? That's a chai latte. So that's what beauty channels do. And video editors eat hard drives. Num num num. <laughs> oh, that's a two terabyte. Better watch that waistline. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. 
<laughs> Where are we going, Addiction? I don't know, wherever you want. <coughs> we should probably go to Addiction. Okay. Because then you get more time to look in H&M. Yeah, plus, you know, I don't have to listen to you whinge. I don't whinge, you're the whinge. You totally whinged. Why do you think we're going to Addiction? No, I gave you the logical option. So you see these two right here? They're both fucking sick. <laughs> They're both ill. <laughs> Coughing their sicky sickness everywhere. What? So if I get ill, it's because of these two right here. Let's go see if we have any fan mail. I love this part. <laughs> oh jeez. Hey man, how's it going? Yeah, it's been... Yes! Busy. Yay! Just the one. Oh, one there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, picked up the fan mail. Just happened to be a little box of Kaya this time. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> On to H&M. And everywhere was already closing, which sucks. One of the reasons why I hate this city. I think places in here typically stay open a little bit later. Yeah, places in here are open until like 6. But even that's pretty crap. You know, it's, what day is it, Monday? Yeah. Should be open till 9. On Thursdays, everything's open till 9. Because one day. <laughs> one day of the week, the whole of Belfast City opens for sensible times. <laughs> 6 o'clock? <laughs> people, people just got out of work at 5. Stay open. They usually have some pretty decent stuff here, especially through autumn and winter. But we'll see. So it's been a little bit hit and miss in here the past couple of months. I grabbed way too much. <laughs> it's like 20 minutes before the store closes. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to try all these on in that time. But let's try. New pair of trousers. Not the trousers that I wanted to get, but a new, new pair of trousers nonetheless. It's a pair of skinny jeans and I've actually gone down a waist size, which I am super happy about. And our shopping trip to Belfast City Centre comes to an end. <laughs> but the day does not end there. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to go home, clean the bomb site that is our house, and then head to Tesco to go get some food! So we can stop eating out and spending loads of money. <laughs> barbecue is calling me. No, no barbecue. I've <laughs> no. only been once. No, yeah. Barbecue was nice. Yeah, and I have like special memories because it was the day I got my tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I ate after, because I was stupid enough to get, went to get a tattoo without eating. That so is, after I was like, <laughs> yeah, that is dumb. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. I didn't have time. So we're walking down the exact same path that I ran this morning because <laughs> we're going to Tesco to go get some food. Yeah. I also lost my fucking washing up gloves, my yellow rubber gloves, my bitch gloves. <laughs> so I need to go get some more of those. Yeah. I love we haven't been to Tesco in so long. I know. Like all last month we just went out to restaurants and spent food money there instead. It's because Tesco's far away and restaurants are close. Yeah. <laughs> And we were always too busy. Yeah. So we thought we'd uh, take the Shoelace Express. You know? Just walk it instead. It's such a scenic route. <laughs> this is my favorite fruit. It's like, it's called a pomelo. It's like a giant orange, but not. Yeah, I might get a couple of these. You want meat for cheap? Go to the frozen section. I so wish I could buy this. This is like my favorite shit. 
but it's dairy and sugar, both things I can't have. The free from section. Sugar, you stab it. I must be the one who heard it because no one else was shocked. The way she said thank you sounded like fuck you. I was like, I just fell over shock. <laughs> it's a bat. It's a robotic bat. Yeah, look. Look at it. Just, just see it. Press it. Huh? Press it. Try me. Press its head. Here's Wiggle. Oh my god, I actually want this. is over time to edit tomorrow is gonna to be more fun it's great to be back even though I was only gone for three days also while I was at Tesco I bought this it's the new end of the episode updated vision oh